well, today you're going to uh, you're going to denounce your Hispanic heritage and you're going to become a white guy. <laughs> Did you feel like, you know, you were obviously tagging with Eddie. Did you feel like when you guys did split up and do your own thing, because you were together as a tag team, because you share the same last name, that there were comparisons like you to Eddie, Eddie to you? Yeah, well, for sure. They're, we're always compared to each other. You know, my, grandf- my father got, always got people hating on him saying, well, you'll never be as good as, as, as your father. Eddie got it. You'll never be as good as your, you know, your, your brothers. I got it. You'll never be as good as Eddie. So Eddie once told me, he goes, Hey man, just be you. You're, he goes, I I've heard it. I've now, I won't be as good as him. You won't be as good as him. You can't, they're just one of that person. Yeah. He says, just be you be the best child. Girl. And that really kind of helped me like, Oh, you know what? Kind of screw everybody else. Go out there and just do your thing. Yeah. With the legacy that you have in your family, with the legacy of just the Guerrero name, what was the conversation like when they pitched Kerwin White to you? <laughs> there was no conversation. I got <laughs> off the plane in Japan and it was, uh, I came to, came to Raw and I had uh, Vince McMahon looks at me and goes, well, hello, Kerwin. And I'm like, okay, what is this? So what's going on? Well, today you're going to, uh, you're going to denounce your Hispanic heritage and you're going to become a white guy. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I have two options. You either say no and possibly go back on the back burner for a while or get fired or you say, all right, let's do it. You know? And at the time the political climate was different. And I, I, I literally told Vince, I go, if we're going to, I had a meeting with him. I said, look, we're going to do this. Let's do it. Right. I'm supposed to be a Brown guy playing a white guy saying, this is how you white guys are. And they're saying no. So I had the, the, the Hispanics hating me because I was denouncing my Mexican heritage. I had the whites cause I was making fun, kind of making fun of them. And they're like, that's not how we dress. I'm like, Oh yes, you do. You know? And then I, I told, I, you know, and I, I, I was saying, you know, if it's not white, it's not right. And you know, you know, I had Caucasians going, you know, that's not the way we are. So that's exactly how you are, you know? So I had everybody hate me and a true heel wants everybody to hate them. And then I, I told Vince, I go, look, at the, at the end of the day, I want to come out on a white sheet. And he was like, oh, yes, I love it. Now, of course, we never, never end up doing that. It got, that just got too risque, a little too racist for a network. Like a KKK sheet? I wanted to. Absolutely. Wow. I wanted to come out. I was like, I, I grew up from in the time of, of wrestling that the more heat, the better. I wanted to fight my way back to the, to the uh, dressing room every night. I wanted to have to sneak out the back window. I wanted to be in the streets and people yell, we hate you because that's heat. That's what I wanted. I didn't want them going, Hey, look, there's Chavo. Hey, what's up? An autograph. I want them to look at me and go, God, we hate you. And still to this day, and that was, I was a heel. That's what you have to do as a heel. Yeah. Yeah. Still to this day, I'll have people on Instagram, social media, contact me and say, you know what? I really hated you when I was younger. When you made Rey Mysterio quit, I hated you. And they're like, I get it now. And I'm like, well, that, thank you. That, I was doing my job. And they said, I understand now. But at the time, they're like, I hated you so much. I'm good. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I wanted people to hate me. That was my job. So, um, you know, it was, if I was going to do it, I was going to do 100%. Like, I'd do anything. So, you know, we never got to that point. But I was ready. I would have. How long did you end up? I mean, it was pretty short lived, but how long were you Kerwin White? Not long, man. It was probably about six months. Uh, I was Kerwin White until the day Eddie died. Yeah. When Eddie died. We had that. We had. We were in a, in Minneapolis for a super show, uh, Raw and SmackDown show, because the whole crew was going overseas to Europe the next uh, that night, I think, or maybe the next morning. And um, after Eddie passed, uh, you know, Vince actually Vince. Triple H, Shawn Michaels all came to me at Eddie's hotel room and we're in the hallway and they're like, what do I do? Vince goes, do I cancel the show? And I'm like, absolutely not. Eddie would never have wanted you to cancel that show. The show must go on. We have So they to left this the decision to you. Well, I can't say that I made the final decision. They wanted my opinion on it. Wow. You know, I, I, that, you know, I, and whether he would have taken it or not, it's up to him. It's his show. But I told him, no, you don't do that. Absolutely not. You, whether you do a tribute show or whatever, we, 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 the show goes on and I want to wrestle. And he was like, all right. And I came out that night with the, as child girl with blonde hair. 
Wow. How difficult was it to wrestle that match that night? Um, you know, I was guided. I felt that like Eddie was there with me and I was guided through it. Uh, then I, plus I had JBL wanting to wrestle me and, and put me over. Um, so, you know, he's a guy that loved Eddie. You know, I loved Eddie. We all did. Um, so, you know, it, the fans were behind you. It was like I couldn't do anything wrong that night. I look back at that match. It was just super special, man. Super special. And just getting in that ring and just performing. And uh, Mick Foley, I think maybe a couple weeks afterwards, he wasn't even with the company. But when I saw him somewhere, he goes, Chavo, he goes, when you climbed up for that frog splash at the end of that match and you hit that frog splash for one, two, three, he goes, that was such a special moment. And I was like, wow. I was like, I, I, dude, I was just, you know, you're on autopilot, man. 